Good morning, and welcome to day eight of Red Dead Redemption 2. Can you believe that it's already day eight of this game? I've been playing this game for two months, and I'm just now leaving Horseshoe Overlook, which I'm told is apparently really early in the beginning of the game. So, yeah, it's taken me a, a while to get my uh, to get my gears greased, my feet wet. My track's oiled. I don't know. Uh, whatever the saying is, I think I'm finally there. I think I've got the hang of this game. This game and the gang and the game. But first, cigar. Oh, where's my coffee? Oh, no. Oh, no. Horrible. My coffee. I left it in the other room. Got to get my coffee. That's right, we have our priorities here on the program. And my priority right now is coffee. Ah. Welcome to all the members in the chat today. Gemma, Deuteronomous, Weird Beard, Jay Z, Brett Bus, Don Coynton, 200 Angel, uh, Nicole Young, and then Brett Bus says, Not the coffee, I know. Well, I didn't want to miss it. I would have missed it. I would have probably collapsed from exhaustion halfway through the broadcast without my coffee. All right, also, um, I know it's a little early for cigars. But in my world, it's, uh, it's just the right time. Arthur Morgan smokes at any time of day, doesn't he? So he's not finicky. <clears throat> this is me just, uh, you know, getting ready to play the game. I'm, I'm getting my mind ready. I'm adopting the character psyche of Arthur Morgan. He smokes a cigar right before battle to fill his dead eye any time of day, and doggone it, I'm doing the same. It's the problem with having a cat, you find fuzz all over your microphone thing. Nick Barnhouse says, good morning, Ox. Finally, day eight. Been waiting all week for today. Can't wait to jump into it. I'm excited, too. I know I say this every time I go live, but I made another hardware change. Well, not hardware change, but a software change, firmware change. Like, oh, no, maybe I, need I, I did something. I made a change. I fiddled with a, a knob and a dial, and I pushed a big red button, and I'm hoping, upon hope, that the flickering is gone. If the flicker is gone then we might try bumping up the quality settings again. <laughs> Remember, we turned off all volumetric lighting, God rays, everything, just to try and get rid of that dog on flickering, which incidentally didn't work, didn't even work. So maybe, maybe if it works this time, and I think it will, I have high hopes, I'm crossing my fingers. If it works this time, maybe we'll turn the lights back on. Parker Smith says, hey Oxhorn, tomorrow's my 20th birthday, excited for that. Gonna play some games now and watch this later. I may jump in a bit just to have fun, Ox. Well, thanks, Parker. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoy it with people who love you. And if you can stop by during the broadcast, well, all the better for it. All right. So far, so good. No flickering yet. I mean, it is just the loading screen, but I'm taking this as a positive sign. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Stephen I says, good afternoon, Ox. Had a great time with last night's stream. Oh, I did too. Uh, we finished Soma last night, by the way, for those of you who are joining uh, and didn't didn't check out last night's stream. We finished Soma, took us four streams to do so, four weeks of uh, streaming that game to get it done. And it was such a good game. Just the ending was great. The storyline itself was great. It was thought provoking. And the scares were just pitch perfect. Oh, no flicker. No flicker. Wait a minute. Why am I back at Horseshoe Overlook? Weren't we on our way to the new... We were on our way to the new camp. But then I had a hard, um... I had a hard stop. And I had to log out. So, we keep All right. East. Is that the plan? We gotta for start now. over from when here. When do we Fine. stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find Dug some place it. sensible shape them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for some. Now, where have I heard that before? You left a mid-quest, says Guido. Well, and then we start over. Let's go, so, boy. are we riding there? Yeah, it looks that way. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to, and fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. All right, let's see how fast killed I can get there. And doggone it, look at that down. flicking. Flickering. They must know there. where we are by now. Man, so that's so annoying. We're south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way oh, Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Hey. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low down criminals. <laughs> they got stuck up on a Which rock. We are. Doggone it. This is you the last have... time. I mean, cinematic mode is just not worth it. All right, there's Dewberry Creek. Tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Hold up a second. What do you mean, hold up a second? Stick with me. Just ride with me. Come on. You want me to follow you? So you was just talking about something? Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons and better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. It's the worst it's ever been. Maybe I've never seen it that bad. Maybe got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Alina says cinematic mode only works on roads. I see. Seems Just Chris with a tip. Open. Thank you, Just yeah, Chris. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, 
I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Yeah! Easy now. Whoa! <laughs> All right, after um after we get to Dewberry Creek, I'll make some hardware. He's I'll, I'll make some shot. setting changes. Looks like trouble got here before us. Ox, mm. try pressing Alt Enter to There's full a camp screen. Just up ahead. Sure. Good for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. No, I'm not gonna loot the dead stranger and lose honor. No Name says, I see we're playing the disco techno version. Yeah. Gotta love a... There? Tents and a wagon. A rock star Looks port. Deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I am being careful. Can sweet corn. Looks like I'm full up. Nope, I can take a few more canned vegetables. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Red Dead Epilepsy, says the Dark Seraph. Yeah, you're telling me. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. Alan says turning off you SLI okay? was the only way I could fix the flickering. No That's the big change I made today, was turning SLI all the way off. I disabled it in NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So it's like off-off. Made it worse. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, <laughs> Like having him around. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Come on, pal. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I've got my carbine. For this. There. Tracks. I can't Come believe on. there wasn't a single autosave throughout Both this marks. entire thing. This way. Causing me to start it over. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. I wonder if that exchange is different based on my character's honor. Looks like they cut off down the trail to the left. You're right. Okay. Come if on. he had higher honor, would this so, conversation have been more? What happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch yet. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. 
That's right. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. So, what were you talking about before? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Press tab to Said check right on her. In front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. He's not yeah, doing anything. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Train operator says an honor system in a game about outlaws makes little sense. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. I'm, I kind of get where you're coming damn from. Damn idiot, going anywhere near that town right now. Welcome, uh, Jeff Peterson, new he'd member. Be able to slip in and out. Oh well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young, a long while, a year or more. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So, you were saying? You did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Careful. Whoa. Seems okay. deserted. Let's take Let's a look. try not to kill her husband. I mean that would be a bummer if we come all this way to help and we accidentally kill the husband. Whoa. So where is this guy? I don't know. The trail goes off over there. And spot them back there? Much easier to defend. Maybe. So do we follow the trail or do we go into the camp and loot it? Let's loot the camp and then go after the trail. The flickering's okay at night. Maybe I should just play the game at night. Oh, I hear a German. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Famous last words. Vorsicht, Vorsicht, das eine Pfanne Vorsicht. Take cover! Three coming right at us. You get the hell away from him. Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Doesn't Ooh. look like it. Look out! Red is coming in! You ain't walking out of here! Leave me with the gold, son! Kill the fuck! This is ugly for you! Last one's making a run for it! Take him down! them dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Did I get him or did I get the horse? Should have smoked a cigar to get my dead eye up mid-battle. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Return the settler to his family. All right. Uh, IMBLT says, Hey, Ox, just got off work on the bus right now. Ready to watch some rootin' tootin' cowboy shootin'. Well, that's what we're doing today. No Name says, How rude. I guess they didn't want to hear the good message of Jehovah. Oh, you thought that? <laughs> yeah, they were all missionaries coming to say hi. Oh, there's not much here in this camp. Let 
But we can loot the dead. You shot the horse? I got the horse? Whoops. Now there were some over here too, weren't there? Yeah, here's one. Item request, log updated. Thimble, oh yay. I got the thimble. This guy's just gonna chill with me for a bit, right? All right, to the horse. Snoobull says, cigar fills your core. You want a temporary boost. Circle around the core with snake oil and such. Snake oil and such. All right. The Devil 666 says, hi. Well, hi there. Yeah, you're right. I did get the horse, which means he got away. I didn't get far on foot. Nah, he's probably got long gone now. All right, let's get to our horse. Come on now, my German friend. All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Yeah, hop on. All right. Uh, I should probably eat something or, or take my snake oil. Is that what you said? Chewing gum, miracle tonic, miracle tonic, snake oil. So that just, that's a temporary. The temporarily. I see. So snake oil during combat. What what, what fills my core? Just the um A little bit of salted offal. A little bit of chocolate bar. Fine brandy. Oh man, check out this mist between the trees. That is so cool. As a Washingtonian, it's a sight I see often and they nail it here. It looks great. Well, bring the machine. Now that the, the sun hell did is rising. You do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen es zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Oh. Taking the straight shot instead of going through the road. Now I got all this... Rough terrain. All right, winding through the trees here. Careful now, look at all this wildlife. This game is gorgeous. And it's not flickering. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> I go from euphoria to hatred in the brief moment, in the brief, briefest of moments. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll fix this. Next time we get to an autosave, I'll, I'll fix this. I'll just put the settings back to what they were. Cole McLean says, there when you're are. feeling in the dumps. Oh, God, dunk. oh, there's his family. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Oh. I've thought you were dead. My name is so gewesen. My Lieblinge. My heart. All the loves. Oh, how wonderful. Oh. You are a big man. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Nein. wir sie getroffen haben. 
Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. das ist klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. The I only know. language uh, that Arthur Morgan uh, knows. Um, Anger and hand motions. Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. A gold bar, wow. Guess it was a pleasure. <laughs> That's right, Arthur. Yeah. Fade to black. Cole McLean says, when you're feeling in the dumps, don't be you sad, right. chumps. Oh, just purse your lips and whistle. That's oh, the key. Perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Always look on the bright side of life. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put no everyone flicker. to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Chapter 3, Clemens Point. A few days later. Gold ingot. To greener pastures, you completed Chapter 2. Hold up, I got a silver medal. Return the captive to his family within one minute and 40 seconds. I had to loot, guys. They're punishing me for playing the game and looting. Complete with at least 80% accuracy. Now they're just shaming me. That's what they're doing. They're just putting me to shame. But I got five headshots. And I didn't take any health items. Okay. Silver medal. I'll take it. You've acquired a gold ingot. It can be sold at any fence for a large profit. And taking a look at the map. Oh, we're all the way down there now, close to Rhodes. So, we've angered Valentine. We've angered Blackwater. Of course, that happened before I joined the game. Uh, but at least now we're close to St. Denis. So I think we'll probably be spending some time in St. Denis. I'm curious about Rhodes. We'll probably pick up some quests here in camp, in the new camp. <clears throat> new horses are available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadows and Strawberry Stables. Should I go upgrade my horse? For now, the skies are clear. I am just plum tuckered. I, I, don't, I don't know. Boggles the mind. Looks like it's working now. Oh, something down here. Hey, you got a thimble for you. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Which is the which is the kid that had the thim that needed the thimble? Why is there a white exclamation point on his name? Oh, there he is. Here, Jack. I found you a thimble. Oh, thanks, Uncle Arthur. I drew you a picture. It's by your tent. <laughs> Thanks, kid. What was that? No, it didn't. It didn't pop me out of the. Um... By my tent. Well, we should talk with Dutch. <coughs> Fine. It's funny, us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania. Fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We? are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. <laughs> we got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Hello, Am I gonna have to go fishing? 
I mean, fishing is all right, but... Arthur's a pragmatist. Dutch is an optimist. Man, look at that cowboy swagger. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fish. All right, gentlemen. Let me Whoop. show you how it's done. <laughs> Okay, so what, we're going fishing now? Yeah. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there. Oh. It was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. <clears throat> Still... We do need money, so keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. This is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Okay, so it looks like I can't use weapons like or start fights and roads. Play it cool. Well, let's just hope we don't find any O'Driscolls there. Dutch complaining about money. Hey. Oh. Just a jail car? Easy. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> nope, not aim not aiming weapon. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Really? Wanted, man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Oh, Come we on, get a deputy guy. with us Perhaps now. We can discuss the foolish magician. Oh, for Let's crying out loud. Let's that train. All right, all right, Keep Archibald. Your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. 
I'm chasing Master, a train. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like a son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You've said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke. Oh, what is that all about? Oh, <laughs> I got one. Leave him. Stay with that train. What the hell are you doing? The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Okay, the all right. The train. Hey, stop that. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Oh, Maybe that's what we're doing? Man. Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Will you stop that? Fine. Come on, jump. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, oh. Get the hell off. Oh, off the train it goes. We chase some more now. Come Hopefully on, the deputy can get the rest. Where are you going to run to? Oh. Come on, shit bag. Come on, Mr. Callahan. I'm relying on you. Oh, bastard. Ah. Damn bastard. Get the hell away from me. Gonna be dead soon, partner. Get these ropes off me. Bounce. Next one. Gonna hard tie you, kid. Get back here. Just you and me now, pal. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. I guess it's just us then, lawman. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. I can't do that. Come on. Come on. Oh my god! Sadly so. Try at least. Watch yourself, he's as dirty as they come. Just do it, then we'll take him in, alright? Do it. Of course, it's got to be a fist fight with a knife at the end. Just you and me now, pal. Go, get up. Can I? I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. Stop. No, they're not letting me. Just us then, little man. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. And I can't use the knife back. Stop. Need some gin? Come on. Are you sure? Sadly. Just to do him and we'll take him in, all right? Try at least. I'm right out here if you need me. Do it. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Pick up the Anderson boy. All right. Did he get all the others that I hogtied? Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? 
I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? I'll take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. Come on now. All boy. right, let's take him in. Follow me. So I guess we're just going to leave all the oh, others. We'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. <laughs> Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Ooh. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. So, Greys and the Braithwaites. <clears throat> I think we'll be having some interesting quests. We're bear left here. Dutch has asked the gang not to use weapons or cause trouble in Rhodes. They're going to keep reminding me of that every time I get close to Rhodes. Okay. Rockland says good morning, Ox. Looking good. Hope you're in Whoa. for a long haul. Might go beyond day 24. This is a big game. I will watch them all, partner. Well, sounds good Here to me. I love long games. Welcome to Rhodes. <clears throat> Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Of course. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sure, I can do that. Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. It's such a shame. My husband will be leaving Saint Denis on the very day. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. <laughs> I will keep this fellow on the straight end. <clears throat> so I Come see Dutch see has a charisma of soon. 10. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? <laughs> Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's all. Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like 
We can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, God. Well, that's annoying. Um, how did we know him again? Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Okay. Fishing trip. So, I time. need... I'm up for it. To go to the graves. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Oh, are we doing more fishing? Okay. Don't think too hard. Sure, why not? Great. <laughs> Hosea, Great. why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Yeah. Yep. Well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, that was really long cutscene. Uh, Alexander says, Hi, Ox. Don't forget to check out Disco Elysium. And my Brown says, Think about this game for lore videos. It's full of little details. And I would love to see, uh, to get the Oxhorn treatment. Maybe, maybe it's worth considering. I'd have to get it to start looking good on this computer, though. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Yeah. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. Oh. <laughs> hey, maybe oh. there are actually a hundred Chalonis. What a terrible thought. Terrible indeed. Oh. How do you do, sir? What are voices. you doing? Oh, sorry. Easy. Yep. Why, well, hello there, sir. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Gray? <laughs> yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. This is the spot. Down to the <laughs> left there. At least I can say, that one wasn't me. That had nothing to do with me. 
That was the clumsy AI. Oh. <laughs> Dutch's horse just got ran over. Woo. <laughs> Easy. All right. Wow, this is a big lake. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Vladimir says, or maybe do three streams of only two games. We could see Detroit and Red Dead Redemption I'm sure more often, and you'll not forget as much of your game progress and mechanics. It's always a possibility. This where we're fishing? I see fish. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Oh, we're getting in a boat. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, this can only end I got poorly. I got a feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. Oh, Jose. <laughs> You're too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Okay, it's the uh, it's the what boat simulation portion of good the game. Fish. That'll do too. Keep going. Ooh, look at my energy going down, down, down. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Uh, all right. Tab to quickly equip a required item. You won't catch much without a rod. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us... Um, bobber fish and bread bait. The much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bat. But you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Okay. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. There we go. <clears throat> uh, hold spacebar to attract Are the you fish trying when to really make slowly, your lure then press look left like click. Fish? They won't you be buy. interested if it ain't moving. Got him. You got a bite there, Arthur. Arthur you were too slow you trying to, to hook catch the fish. One at least. Oh, okay, fine. I'm waiting for the bite. Not seeing it move. It looks like you got there a bite, Arthur. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. That feels like a bite. There we go. Ah, I should have had that one. go well done arthur they can grow a lot bigger than that steelhead like trout told me once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river just southwest of saint denis 50 pounder he reckoned <laughs> i would like to see that 
You're getting the hang of this. Damn it, I lost him. There he is. Hey, Jose. You remember? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Whoops. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just then... follow the shore south, Arthur. Come on. You can have a break when we get back to camp. All right, fine. Lots of instructions that coming my way. Fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. Mm -hmm. He said, wait till the taters is done. <laughs> I couldn't wait till the tears was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. What the heck? I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. Oh my God. <laughs> What song we should be singing? Oh, I don't even. These old cowboy songs, I've never well, heard them before. Three mariners. Ah, of course. <laughs> well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? The air is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round and round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round and round and round. To them we dance this round and round and round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in camp think that we had to <laughs> Abysmal Depths says Hosea just informed you of a legendary fish location at the mouth of the river next to St. Denis. Thank you, Abysmal Depths. That might be something we'll track down in a future episode. Brett Bus says use the boat to explore the islands after you drop them off. Maybe I think I kind of want to get uh, my hands dirty with a new quest, some of the side quests here. All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. That look from Jose. <laughs> This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You do that, Dutch. Mission complete. You know, the new south. Of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Now, why did I only get a silver? I bet you because I didn't catch enough fish. Nope, knock out Anders Anderson without taking a hit. He had a knife! It's a fist fight and he had a knife and I wasn't allowed to shoot him or kill him without taking a hit. Doggone it. Well, at least I got him to jail in time and I caught a fish with Dutch and Jose. I'll take my silver award. So, we've got a brand new camp to explore. Complain, complain, complain. 
Mr. Morgan. I ain't complaining. I'm just saying. You're not saying, Miss. Sadie and Pearson are having a row. Oh, I'm sorry. You think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Sure. And you preferred that, did you? Sometimes. Hey, Arthur. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Well, do it quietly. All right, looks like uh, I've got a mission here with our good um, money lending friend. All right. The flickering's not bad now, but I know as soon as I, I mean, now's a good time. Here. Let me save. Oh, I've only got one more empty slot. All right, let me save. And now I'm going to turn SLI back on. <clears throat> because uh, the change I made just made everything worse. Speaking of which, Journey to the Savage Planet. I had somebody recommend it on a stream last night, and I looked it up, and it looks interesting. Any thoughts on Journey to the Silent Planet? Auto select. Auto select. I'm going down and choosing enable and then putting everything back to auto select. It was on four single show split disabled SI indicator. Let's keep that off and then let's put the SLI rendering mode back to auto select. All right. I know I shouldn't be using SLI with a game like this. It's not taking advantage of it, but since turning it off made things worse, let's turn it back on and see if that can make things better. Spy Spyridonis Pap says alt key for honor. I think Ox. Thanks Spyridonis. I'll try that when I get back in. Silent Planet or Savage Planet says Seth. Oh, uh, Savage. I think Savage Planet. Yeah, I had someone recommended on my. Uh, Stream last night. It's like Subnautica, but in space. Poorly Produced says, Journey to a Savage Planet doesn't really seem like a game I'd see you play. It says Poorly Produced. Okay. The reviews for Journey are very good. I don't know if you know who ACG is, but he loved it and he's super picky. Hmm. Top Dollar says, yes, Ox, that was me that recommended it. Oh, well, I watched a, a video trailer of it and it looked uh, interesting. So that's why I'm asking you guys about it now. Joe Pringle says, Oxhorn, the only thing you need to remember about this game is that Dutch has a plan. He does have a plan. He's always got a plan and Dutch's plans always work, don't they? They just never fail. Okay, well, I'm hoping that this is better. Thinking so. Right. Okay, look at my health core. Ooh, auto uh, autosave. Yes? Why does it do this? Camp funds, 114 bucks, but I've already upgraded the entire camp practically. Uh, I don't want to shave. Let's refill my health core here.
All right. Biscuits looking good. Cole McLean says, Journey to the Savage Planet. Play it like an MMO. I think Alien Isolation is a better fit for you. Uh, uh, for the graphics still, for your demographics still hold up. And the store is good. The story is good. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Cole. Is it an MMO? I didn't realize it was an MMO. Now. This is the picture the boy made. Let's take a look at it. Mommy, some sheep, and a daddy. Who's who's the who's the daddy? Hopefully, it's not me, because it's because it's not my character. Jack's drawing cigarettes. Looks like I'm all stocked up on cigarettes. Grab some pomade. Flower. What's this? Just looks good then? Cool. I got a little flower. First bank robbery newspaper scrap. Brazen bank robbery. Three men sought. Major TJ Belford has been a cashier at the banking house of Leon Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared him for what transpired last week. It was about two o'clock. Three men, strangers to me, came through the door and walked up to the counter. One of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. I feel like I've read this before. In fact, I think I have. Apply the pomade. Your hair is gross. <laughs> All right. Change clothing. We're in a summer area now, right? So I should change to my summer clothes. Let's go to outfits. Uh, the summer gunslinger. There we go. That better be Dapper Dan pomade. All right, how do you use pomade? Is it on our little wheel here? Or uh, stamina tonics, health tonics, provisions, kit, camera, binoculars. Nope. Hunting, crafting, clothes. Do we go to the mirror for the pomade? Shaving kit. Pomade hair. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. He's Hipster Morgan now. I don't want to trim my beard. I like it long. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, his hair is all nice and neat now. I, I dislike pomade. I, I've used it, and it just gets messy and nasty. All right, Um. well, we've got a quest from this guy over here. Let's talk to him. Ooh, and there's also a quest from that guy over there. Uh, I guess we'll do this one first. Hey, there's Strauss. No? There we go. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Oh, great. So we have to go to Rhodes. Ah, uh, that'll be difficult. I'm going to have to get a guy in Rhodes without using my gun. Individuals that owe the gang money are marked on the map with a dollar sign. Seek out the debtors and recover the money. <clears throat> okay. Can I get another quest while I'm at it?
Well, maybe I should just do one at a time. Let's get some ammunition. I think I used a little... Actually, no. I think I'm probably pretty good. Let's just see. I don't know. I haven't used my shotgun recently. Not sure why I'm so low on shotgun shells. Now, the repeater... <clears throat> I could definitely stock up on the repeater. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm gutting the entire store. I didn't realize it was that, uh, that low. Brett Bus says, Drinking hair tonic, not pomade, in your bag helps you grow your hair and beard past the soft cap, which you are at now. Really? I, <laughs> I could grow it lo longer with hair tonic? <clears throat> All right. Let's see what happens. Also, how do I cut my hair? I know I can shave from uh, from the mirror here, but how do I cut my hair? Is there an option to cut my hair? Facial hair. No, just trim. And then pomade my regular hair. <clears throat> trim your own hair. I don't want to trim my beard, though. If I click trim, is it going to trim my hair or my... There we go. All facial hair. Mustache, chin, chops. It's just... This is your current length. Oh. <laughs> I, I could rock some serious chops, huh? Abysmal Depths says, make sure you go to the ledger and replenish those ammo supplies. All right, we'll do Barber. The Barbers are in town. Oh, okay. So this is just, um, this is just facial hair. Let's keep that maxed out. Looking good, Arthur. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's go to Rhodes. Do all of the white side quests first. Let's see. It looks like there's one other one. There's this one. And then a fishing quest. And then um, another main quest. Let's try some of that hair tonic. Actually, is it in my satchel? Uh, food tonics. Horse medicine, opened bitters, cocaine gum, opened horse medicine, snake oil, health cure, miracle tonic health cure, bitters, miracle tonic potent bitters, potent snake oil, ginseng elixir. I guess I don't have the hair tonic. Hair pomade. Yep, no hair tonic. Wait, what's that? That's just a silver earring. <clears throat> Freddy says, can you please update your Fallout 4 mod list? I haven't updated my Fallout 4 mods, really, since I made that list. I suppose it could... Uh, Rob Homestead. Um, yeah, let me go to town first. Let's rob a homestead when I get back, all right? I want to cut my hair and find these guys who are uh, what? Owing, owing us money. All right, so one guy in Rhodes, and where's the other one? Way over here in Strawberry? You skipped over the hair tonic, everybody says. It was in, it was next to pomade. Oh, I'd have to go all the way to Strawberry? Uh, well, let's do the one in Rhodes. It's closer. Then we can take the train to Strawberry. That's the Grays. Gwen Hughes. K 
kit, keepsakes, watches, hair pomade, gun oil, hair tonic. There it is. Increases the rate at which hair and facial hair grows. Why not? Fast travel says. Oh yeah, that's right. I can fast travel. Well, let's go to Rhodes. Well, it's, it's actually getting dark. So let's fast travel to Strawberry. Because by the time we get to Strawberry, maybe it'll not be dark. Then we can fast travel back and go to Rhodes. It'll be okay. Evening, Arthur. Good evening, Arthur. Well, doggone it, I seem to have lost my camp. Where is it? Mr. Morgan. Over here. Evening. Strawberry. All right, now that we're in Strawberry, uh, looks like we need to go north out of town. So let's take that road up. Wind and Holes. Skinny Biker says, that flickered though. Love you, Ox. Yeah, we've been struggling with it all stream. Welcome to the broadcast. Yep. Josh Bunton says, Ox, what's up with the super old honey look? To the game. It's the game. I, I don't have any mods installed. I see a campfire. Do I wake him up and confront him or just rob him? Why is it not working? Wind homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat. The pelt will more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. 
Please. I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. I still have to kill and skin it, right? That's right. the hard work. Move. Well, um, <clears throat> Josh says, uh, Odd, it must have just came in at a bad time around the camp. Trip. Skinny Biker yeah, says, what kind yeah. of cigars you smoking, Oxhorn? Well, I actually just bought a brand new shipment of really cool cigars. I can't wait for them to arrive. But right now, I'm smoking my regulars, my oh, La Aurora e uh, Leones. Drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. All right, I'm excited drive. about this. I get to do some hunting okay, as part of the me. quest. And I need to make sure that this is a pristine pelt. So what, do I use drive. my bow and arrow? I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Arthur's hey, cranky. Hey, knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name was all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. <laughs> I love Arthur. He's the best character ever. We're going right here, up the stream. Yeah, you go on ahead. I'll stay behind you. What's the best weapon for this encounter? Clow right. Biggs says, Oh, it's a mission. Thing? Pelt condition doesn't I matter. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. I gotta squeeze you like a lemon. It's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What Let I know about cats? This one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Josh Bunton says, kill it with one shot, Oxhorn. It's the easiest way to get a pristine pelt, but doing so is hard. In this mission, it's the cougar is very jumpy and it may maul you, so go in at full health. Freddy says, cool stream, Ox. Will you play the RE3 Resident Evil this 3 remake? Her den. We should leave the horses. I don't know. All right, go in at full health, you say? I am at full health. What's the best weapon for this? I love my carbine. Springfield rifle does more damage. The rolling block rifle, but that's a sniper rifle. Double barrel shotgun. Let's bring my my Springfield rifle. No name says plenty of cougars in LA. Here I put on my summer attire. And we're in the snow, because I went back to Springfield. Oh, and he's got a lantern. Great. Cougar's not going to see that. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on. Got to take off the bands on my cigar here. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. 
Well then why you got a dog on lantern? Select the lantern with the weapon wheel to illuminate dark places. Really? We're hunting with a lantern? Okay. You hear that? There's yeah. a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. Oh, this guy's gonna kill me in a cave, isn't he? He lured me in here to murder me. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. Oh, sure. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. What happens if I put my lantern away? Pitch black! Okay. That's too dark. Look at that. All these places for her to pounce on me. Holmes? Oh no! Winton Holmes? Around. Sorry, in the middle of this too, and I got a phone call. Hello? Yeah. All right, so no bump. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Okay, will do. Thank you, bye-bye. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like my daughter bonked her head while she was at, at recess today, and they put some ice on her forehead. There's no bump, no swelling, no dizziness. She's okay, but they wanted a call to let me know that that's what happened. So when I pick her up off the bus, I'll talk about that. But thankfully, everything is okay. Now, where were we? All right, hunting a cougar in a cave. Me, boy. That's the other path, which means he went down here. blood Oh no There's a corpse down here an old one An old corpse okay I guess we loot it She got it crap Damn dead dead I lose Wait, could I have gotten him in time? How does he know that she died? Ah! And I'm dead. Okay. Uh, 
try that again. Let's try that again. How am I got, how am I supposed to switch to my weapon in time? Yeah, I'm switching to my shotgun. <laughs> I just came up from the ground underneath me. Uh, <laughs> I can't even get a, f a shot fired, though. That's the problem. Oh. I left it on my horse. Can I save him? It's his fault. What's his brilliant idea? Let's separate in a dark cave with a cougar in it. She got him. Damn, dead, deader. Show yourself. I've got full life. Lantern, pistol, in the other hand, dead eye. Oh, can I carry a pistol? Oh! Yes! Crap, crap. 
Did it switch to what was that? My lasso? Really, it's going to force me away from the wall. mode helped a lot. Oh my gosh. Freddy Schrendler says, so are you going to update your mod list? Would love it. Uh, as I said a moment ago, I, my mod list isn't really out of That's date. Why. That'll be rare. F1. How'd I do? No, killed one, skinned one. So I haven't really changed my Fallout 4 mods. I mean, I've uninstalled a few. Uh, but I don't really plan on, on changing my mod list anytime soon. Alright, if I loot this guy, I'm going to lose honor, so. See if we can... Oh, sorry, buddy. Walk around, see what we can find. What about a corpse? Pick up a stranger? No, there's nothing on his corpse. Loot the dungeon, says Seth. All right, will do. Oh, we got a cat. We got a hat here. Uh, looks like it's set dressing. I can't loot it. You dropped it. Grab the pelt. You dropped the pelt, Ox. Oh, did I? Oh, 
How did I drop that? God darn it. Okay, now, we found a few corpses. I found a hat. I couldn't loot the hat. Let's see if we can find an end of dungeon steamer trunk. Oh, look at the bones. Ho, 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 ho. This is a voracious cougar. Holy cow. Another body. I see daylight. And this is the path I went down. Nope, that's a dead end. Well, I think that's it. Well, that was a cool little quest. Your man ain't coming. Okay, fella. Okay. Well, I got my money from that. Now, we've got another one. Oh, I need to go to the town of Strawberry, to the Butcher and Strawberry. That sounds good. It's daylight. I can go to the Butcher and Strawberry, sell the pelt, get some money. Yeah. Get a haircut while I'm at it. Ooh, going a little bit fast there, Oxlon. Then maybe uh, find a fence to sell that gold bar. For the gory content, says Gemma. Thank you, Gemma. Lucas says Trapper Ox. The quest is send him into the uh, butcher here in in, uh, in shop. In, in strawberry. I don't think there's a barber in strawberry, says Alina. Oh, great. Pay off your bounty too, says do rag. I suppose I could do that, yeah.
Hello, you look hungry. Good. Ox, there's a fence north of Rose. All right, I'll check it out. Steelhead trout. White cougar pelt. I only get 41 bucks from it? This is a unique item. 41 bucks, that's all I get from it? A perfect cougar pelt can get you the Cougar McClellan saddle from the Trapper. The best in the game. So this is like a quest item, basically. And I could kill another cougar, but that's not this one. Lucky this is popular how hey. common it is. Keeping your end up. I just don't know. Now, is there a barber in town? Let's see here. We got FFF Guts. General store, newspaper seller, post office, hotel. What's FFF Guts? Oh, a test of nerve in which players must compute a sequence of... Oh, okay. Uh, well, I could go to the post office and pay off my bounty. Let's do that since we're here. Violence in Thank you for Read your help. All right, then. Sounds like I heard what you heard. Knife B says, don't pay your Valentine bounty. You'll get another soon. Okay. Good tip. Uh, now... I'm all the way up here in Strawberry. Everything else is bringing me back here to Rhodes. Albert Mason needs... It's Albert Mason! What's he doing way up there? North of St. Denis. Uh, maybe I'll go there when I'm next up there. In camp, we've got Gwyn. No, that's Rhodes. And then what's this? The Greys. That's right. Uh, where's the fence north of uh, Rhodes? I don't see him. I've got a stable up here, but I'm not seeing a fence. Maybe I haven't discovered him yet. I mean, there is Emerald Station with Emerald Ranch. Oh, that fence. Is that a fence? Is there a fence in Rhodes? Yeah. Fence north of Rhodes. That's right. Okay, let's take the stagecoach then. And the stagecoach is... Right over there. Come on now, boy. Listen to those other drivers. If you want to get somewhere in one piece, come with me. Can I get a ride, please, partner? So, where am I taking you? Roads. Can I get a ride into Roads, please? Looks like we'll have a long ride together. Go! Tony J says there's a fence in the outskirts of Rhodes, I'm sure of it. Oxhorn, check out the basement of the gunsmith in Rhodes. Okay. Got here earlier than expected. Thanks, mister. You help me out there. Sweet, here we are. <clears throat> now, where's the barber? There's a saloon, gunsmith. We got a bounty here. Post office, butcher, general store. 
What's Dutch doing in town? Oh, Sheriff Gray wants us to come and say hi. So Dutch is talking with the sheriff. Farmer John says, hey, Ox, haven't watched you since those wow videos. Thank you, my friend, for coming on back. All right, well, lots to do. Let's go get our bounty. Not a, not a bounty, our... Um, our debt. Ain't been too many federals I don't want no trouble. No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. I can't tell who's Who's talking right now? All right. Been this slow in a long time. Back to it then, I Into guess. Into the workshop, I guess. Hope some federal comes through. I ain't seen blood in a while. Still don't look quite right. Uh. Never gonna get the hang of this. I'm tired of talking. How about we get back to? There he is. He's you around back. It? He's a coffin maker. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. Why? Well, I, I don't. I... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh, well uh, come with me to the churchyard. Oh, are we gonna go hey, brave, Robbins? Hmm? Oh no, <laughs> no! I can't oh, go grave, Robin. Right. I mean, I'll get you your money, but, uh... Well, you'll see. Oh, what ain't no. right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but, uh... This, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. So that's how Arthur like justifies say, it. Well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Because we're not robbing the church, we're robbing the graves. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. <laughs> Arthur didn't like that. Oh, and there's people out oh, here. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Clear out the townsfolk. All right, these people are just flirting. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long uh, past prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, uh, breathing woman you got here in front of you? Can't we just get married like normal folks? Married? Don't be goopy. I don't know what to say to you. <sighs> you two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. They were trying to get busy in a graveyard? What's wrong with these strawberry kids? Jeez. You need to get rid of them all. 
Well, it was just those two, right? A graveyard, really. They couldn't have picked a better place. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll keep looking. Are there more? Oh, uh, we got a grieving widow. Oh. Look at this. Overgrown and all. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. There we go. No harm, no foul. Um, I'm guessing this is the one we're about to exhume. Oh, that's Lucille Braithwaite. Well, I'm sure Gwen is going to show us exactly which grave. We're doing this in the middle of the day. Ah, this, everything about this, just not right. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Where do you think you're going, lady? Hello there, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hmm, well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. All right. I suspect the graveyard's gonna become a very busy place just uh, momentarily. Everyone in town is going to want to come here for some unexplicable reason right now. Here come a couple more. Just got to come to the church. Hey, look, we're closed for some... Uh, Excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. <clears throat> you gonna get a whoop? Ah! Ah! You're gonna get it! Ah, uh, shit. Hope this hole's dug. <laughs> just gonna leave him here. Hey, guys. Just take a nap. Uh, they fainted. It's just, uh, they were grieving so bad over Aunt Molly. They just collapsed from fainting. Well, uh, who else is coming? It's well afternoon now. I hear the crickets. The sun is setting. Good time to get that grave exhumed. Before the dead stop walking. Anyone else? Tony J says, there's some 1800 slang for you. We gon' lick ya. That's what they said, all right. We gon' lick ya. Is that it? Ooh, he's hard at work. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. Not gonna cover her back up? That, that's more than, than clear what I, what I owe you. <laughs> gonna cover her up? No? All right, your business then, friend. 
I'd have covered her up. <laughs> this case is going to leave her there. Is that my hat? That gave me fond memories of uh, L.A. Noir. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, Lord. oh, did he just see those bodies? <laughs> They're knocked out. All right, well, let's go see what Dutch has for us here in town, since he's closest. I'm thinking we're going to be helping out the law again to ingratiate ourselves further. Near got bit. Well, dang. Although this is a main story quest. If I do this now, will I lose my ability to do the, the bank robbery or the house robbery quest here in camp? Well, I've got a number of story quests, so it can't advance us too far. <clears throat> Darth Knox says picking up your hat reminds you of L.A. Noir. Yeah? Did you play L.A. Noir? We lose our hat all the time in Fist Fats, constantly picking up my hat. Although... In L.A. Noir, they pick it up. They pick it up automatically. You just walk over the hat, and the character picks it up. Tony J says, "Get, get on out of there, Ox. They're onto your grave, Robin." Really? Moonshine run, Ox. Don't go to Dutch yet. Oh, am I going to get in trouble for the grave, Robin? Maybe I'll go back to camp. Sounds good to me. Let's go back to camp and do the uh, the house heist. Where's my horse? Before they figure out that we exhumed a grave. Surely it's not those newcomers to town. They would never do such a thing. All right, back to camp. Is that Pearson? He needs to speak with me. Let's find out what Pearson needs, and let's do the house robbery. Might have got some horse sense. Come on, I got to do it twice. There we go. Out of roads. <clears throat> Before they figure out who dug up the grave. Josh Bunton says, bye, Ox. Have a good day. I got called into work early. No worries, my friend. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a good day at work. And thank you very much for your generosity. Darth Knox says, I did. I watched all your L.A. Noir videos. They were wonderful to watch, but you only use your hat when you get hit or near headshotted. Well, I mean, that happened to me a lot. <laughs> I, I had a hard time with fist fights even in that game. I'm getting better, though. Did you see that last fist fight? I did good. I knocked them both out. I'm finally learning to block. It's the R button, apparently. I thought it was right click, but no, it's not. You think all this Lemoyne air is free for you? Ooh, just in case. Who's talking to me? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. You're done! Bitch. <laughs> I guess I was told. Do I lose honor by looting this one? I didn't lose honor by killing him. Let's get out of here. Lemoyne Raider's letter. Yeah. Lemoyne Raider's letter. What's that? Lemoyne Raider's letter. No handbills. What's the new letter I just got? Lemoyne Raider's letter. 
A note on the recruitment of young Southern men to the cause. William, I'm writing to let you know our raids against the Jayhawkers in Lawrence, Kansas have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign that I doubted there was a God who loved us, but today I have a glimmer of hope. That they call us Lemoyne Raiders Buckwashers and... Or Buck... Buck... Buckwhackers? Bushwhackers. Okay. Bushwhackers and border ruffians does not diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of northerners set on change in our way of life. The doggone northerners. I hope you will continue to work to recruit more young men to our cause here in Lemoyne. We will ride through their ranks and smite down the oppressors. History is not over and shall be rewritten. It is always darkest before dawn. Sincere, uh, sincerely, William Marcus Anderson. I wonder if we're going to meet him later on. No address or anything? All right. <clears throat> so what? Is that like the clan? Was that a recruiter for like the KKK? Well, I, I mean, the letter from a recruiter. They were certainly anti-union. Wow, our camp is really close to Rhodes. You'd think someone would find it. But no. Okay, so I won't continue with the primary quest with Dutch just yet, uh, per guidance from chat. So instead, let's go raid a house, get that done, and then we'll go from there. Also, let's see what Pearson has for us after we raid this house. Where's my hitching post? Hey, Strauss, I got your debt. Good evening, Arthur. Oh, damn. What? Forgot to drop some of that loan money in the box. Okay, I'll put it in the box. Uh, PNWHXC says, just got a long sleeve Enclave shirt from you. Ox, thank you, thank you. Yahweh. P.S. Fart, fart, fart. Well, when you have an opportunity, why not? Right? Nice. And you're welcome. Okay, where's the box in this new camp? It's way down here. All right, we'll drop off the money in the box. Then we'll go do the house raid. Then we'll talk to Pearson. Give all debts. Nice. Now I did exhaust all of the ammunition, so let's restock on ammo while we're here. Medicine, provisions, ammunition. That's nice and cheap. Restocked on ammo. Fantastic. Now, house raid. Oh. Hello. Oh. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. How you feeling? PNWHXC says, yes, hearing you say that made my day. Well, uh, I'm glad to have made your day. Jim Bob says the South will rise again. My friend, I'm from C Seattle. You're speaking to the wrong guy here. <laughs> yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? <laughs> because there ain't no judgment here? 
Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this whole cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? <clears throat> oh, Sean. Well, well. Roy, follow me. So, these guys are train robbers. I guess I won't feel bad robbing them. Then again, we're train robbers too, so we're not any better. I wonder, can I use my lantern on a horse? Just in caves? You okay, boy? How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. <laughs> I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? Did he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up <laughs> inside. <laughs> what about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me fee. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Josh Bunton says you can't use a lantern in camp along with drawn weapons. All right, well, thank you. Hard left coming up. All right, well, then I'll stick behind you. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. <clears throat> Looks like that's all the dialogue. Let's see, anything else? Nope, we've exhausted it. Up here, Morgan. Andrea says, great microphone voice you got there, buddy. Well, thank you. 
I wouldn't have gotten far so far if I didn't have a good microphone voice, I think. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Okay. Well, I got my carbine. That's all I need. It's a trap, says Seth. Maybe. Sean has already been in enough traps. I don't know if he would willingly get us into another. Look. There's one on the outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. What say... Oh, I left my sniper rifle on the horse. Hey there! Whoa! Oh, now I'm gonna give you about five seconds to... No trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right ah. here. It's up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. All right, between the walls and the bedrooms. Homeowner has revealed a secret stash spot to you. You will often find the best back. option won't be immediately killing everyone you come across. Between the bedrooms and a wall, put your hand between a gap in the wall. Between the bedrooms. Oh, uh, is this one of those situations where I gotta act quickly? So, here we are. We got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you Cue to look up. Problem, didn't I? You did good. Thank you. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. Cigarette he card? Him, he said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Loose board in the bedroom. Find Anton yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Shoot. Loose board. There it is. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Is this one of those situations where I gotta get out of here quickly? Got <laughs> or can I, can I loot? Can I loot? Can I loot? You can discover the homesteads by exploring the world. There will often be lucrative opportunities found at homesteads, and the method to make off with the highest amount of money won't always be the same. Money clip. All right, I want to get out of here. Whoop. Looks like I'm stocked up on rum. Actually, I could probably drink some. 
Uh, rum. There we go. Got a replacement. Cheese. Salted meat. Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> At every homestead I find, I just drink up. Kentucky bourbon. Because I find more booze. There we go. Okay, homestead. Oop. No, I don't want to pick him up. I don't want to pick him up. No. Drop. Loot. No, I don't want to swap the hat. Ugh. No, I don't want that hat. Although, I mean, that's a nice hat. And I don't want to pick him up. Oh, well, we'll keep this hat for now. I can always get my other hat back, right? Pick up. What's that? That's the stranger. Anything else around here? Should probably make it quick. Don't know if others are coming. Did I loot? Nope, I haven't looted him. Is that my horse? That is my horse. There's another dead guy over here. There we go. Hopping on my steed. Got my bowler hat, finally. Yeah. How long did it take me to get a bowler hat in this game? <laughs> right. Done. Hey, now what's that? Big old question mark on the map just north of me. Seems like I triggered a random encounter. Tell you what, let's go check it out. There is someone here you can meet. Up we go. Yeah. And they really nailed horse riding in this game. Oftentimes, it feels awkward in games and you feel clunky and cumbersome, but not in this game. It's very fluid. Well, how to here. Easy, whoa. Circus performer? What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. He's British, of course. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. <laughs> I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look Sod at me. Sod you, Daddy, I said. The old git will have a field day. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. <laughs> <I didn't act. laughs> the bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. 
Watch her! Tame wild beasts! And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. <laughs> it's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. <laughs> My animals, they escaped. And now I'm... This I'm guy's very buggered. British. What escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A tiger? A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard's sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. <laughs> it's bloody Margaret, not madam. <laughs> Oh, I Margaret. gotta find I gotta find a zebra, Mistress a lion, a and a tiger. Danger. Great. Most deaf says Ox, the guy looking for the rock carvings is a time well, traveler. If you notice he talked please. different for the time period, and if you finish this quest, the end cutscene reveals all thanks for the content. Uh yeah, well we we uh, Arthur mentioned that when we first met him, but I didn't know he was a time traveler. Ta-ta! Not it's sod, if you can manage it. Mm-hmm. Wow, this British guy is really cantankerous. Well, where are we going to find a lion, a tiger, and a zebra? <clears throat> um. Oh. There. There's our first one by Emerald Ranch. Do we go get it? Margaret's zebra should be around here somewhere. How do we get a zebra without killing it? Do we hog tie it? Let's do it. Oh, it's going to send me up by Emerald Ranch. Well, at least I can go to the fence while I'm there. All right, let's go to the fence in Emerald Ranch since we're, that, we're heading that way anyway. And then we'll get the zebra. I like this new derby. It's got a bullet hole right in the front of the head. I just wish it was brown. Oh, I need to brush my horse. All right. I'm going to brush you, horse. Don't worry. You're going to feel better. Slow up now. You all right, boy? Does he need food? I haven't fed him in a while. Let's give him a biscuit. A well-fed horse is a happy horse. Now, let's go find a zebra. Devastator says, Oxhorn, you can fast travel from the small camp you place down from the items tab. Thank you. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But it's not that far away. Like, it's it's a short walk up here. Yeah, see, we're already out almost halfway there. There's the fence. Aliana says your horse is skinny. Look under character in the pause menu. Okay there. Is there a meter for how how fed my character is? Player? Horse. Physique. 
Malnourished? <laughs> How is my horse malnourished? Bonding level 4 health. Core drain, 12%. How is my horse malnourished? I guess I gotta feed him more. Cleanliness, keep clean, mood, calm. What about my character? Underweight. I'm going to have to set a timer to just eat. Oh, it's so annoying. All right, let's eat something. I'm underweight. What'll, what'll pump up my, my weight? Kidney beans. Canned kidney beans. I've got 24 cans of kidney beans. Might as well eat a can every half hour or something. That's going to help me out. Now let's go to the horse. He had a carrot. Let's do something a bit more substantial. How about some classic oat cakes? I've got 11 of those. Yeah, you all right there, boy? You can't turn me in. This ain't just. Just? Fuck these you you robbed and murdered your way across half the country. It's all lying. I ain't never been more than five miles from home. You keep lying, you gonna make me angry, boy. Yep. I've got a bounty in Emerald Ranch. Welcome back, mister. All right, take a look. Okay, let's see. Where's my gold bar? I could sell that. Hmm. Come across a few of these myself. Pick this up off the street, no doubt. Where's that gold bar he gave me earlier? Gold wedding ring. Oh, yeah. There it is. People lose these all the time. It's a small gold ingot, ingot so it's only 300 bucks. Done. I like my pen. I'm gonna keep it. Belt buckle? Hmm. Come across a few of these myself. Thanks for your help. <gasps> Thanks. Time to go, boy. Now, zebra. I guess I'm gonna have to lasso it. Jim Bob says hunted game is the best source of food. Thanks. Yeah, I do enjoy hunting, but it's time consuming and I'm also really enjoying these quests. Uh, it may be something I'll take up later, but for now I've got all these canned provisions that are just taking up space in my inventory. Might as well use them. We're gonna lasso ourselves a zebra in the Wild West. It's so ridiculous. Keeping our eyes peeled. Where is this sucker? Easy. Up in the hills. There we go. Is that it? I don't see any stripes on that. Is that the zebra? Doesn't look like zebra. Oh, there's the stripes. Mm -hmm. 
Look here. Gotcha. Hey, now. What they done to you? Okay. Come on now. Hey, hey. <laughs> that was easy. I got it. I love the music they're playing. All right, where's uh, Margaret Scamp? Oh, and I got to go all the way through Emerald's Ranch again. This will be a sight. Brandon Mayer says, uh, leave and work now. Ox, thanks for the stream, my brother. You're welcome. Thanks for joining me, my friend. Have a safe trip home from work. Ride the zebra. It's faster. Really? I don't know. I like my horse. If it becomes a problem, I'll try and ride him. But right now, I think we're good. Oh, sorry, Zebra. Oh! Yeah. There we go. Easy, easy. <laughs> yeah. Coming with me now. Stop fussing. a complainy zebra. Yeah. All right, Margaret. a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. <laughs> Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the allure of the stage, dreams and reality. <laughs> What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between uh... prose and poetry. It's alchemy. 
We're selling dreams, dear boy. Uh. Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole <laughs> menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> well, there's something wrong with our zebra. Oh! He's in the cage now. All right. How did I do? Oh, there was no, uh, okay, as long as I get it. He's British, of course, part two. Margaret's zebra is found on the plains. Well, if a donkey is painted up to be a zebra. It should lead you right to them. Oh, I lost my bowler hat. How did I lose my bowler hat? Aw. I don't remember losing my, my bowler. There it is. Here, though I bloody well wish you would. <laughs> that bug happened on the PS4 for me as well, says John Christian. Well, good. I'm glad it's not just me. I'm starting to really like this hat. Hey, I'm, I, I liked boy. Arthur's hat, but I'm, I'm starting to really get used to this hat. All right. Now, let's see. Um, where is... There it is. All the way down here. Oh, Tiger. Well, what on earth is a tiger going to be? Ooh, that's a long ride. Let's ride it anyway. We might find some cool random encounter. Tony J says you need to buy a bowler to keep it, Oxhorn. Next time you quit and reload the game, that hat is gone. Oh no, really? Is there a way for me to keep this hat? Like if I add it to my um, to my clothing chest back at camp, can I keep it? Uh, in Collectio says you can find exquisite bowler hats in various colors in a shop at St. Denis. Oh, I gotta stop looking at the chat because I keep missing my marker here on the minimap. Um, I'm bummed that I'm going to lose this hat when I log out of the game. Whoa, easy. Easy, boy. It's okay. Yeah. Whoa. Could have sworn I heard somebody saying, oh, God, no. I didn't see a white mark on my uh, mini-map. Yep. Already there? Wow, that was a quick, quick ride. I didn't realize it would be that fast. Don't do this to us. Hey, Mister. Oh, Miss. Howdy, 
morning, mister. Did, um, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? From Valentine, I think. <laughs> he might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. <laughs> Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. You have to buy a bowler hat in order to keep it. You can buy one from the general store in Rhodes, says Roland. All right, so he's in the shrubs. How am I going to get this guy? With the lasso again, I guess. Oh, what? I can't lasso. I have to be on horse. Okay. Where's my horse? My horse ran off. He didn't just disappear. Keep looking in the undergrowth. All right, all right. I guess I won't use my lasso. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Let me bring the. Ooh, he went down this way. Looks like black blood to me. Shit. We got ourselves a dead zebra. Alligator got him. What's this? Big old fight happened here. Oh no! The lion! Oh, darn. I found your dog! Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy! Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. What? Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. Oh, we're gonna use the dog as bait. Ha! The other half? <laughs> really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Roland says also you forgot the unique revolver in that small cabin. <clears throat> uh, which small cabin, Roland? The one where um, we robbed that house? Or the cabin near to where we find Margaret? Grubs <coughs> up. Wait Stay down. beside the animal. She won't hand. be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Lock it. Come on, Arthur. Sorry, girl. All right. Let's go. Roland says the cabin you robbed. Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Is there like a latch for that door? Looks like it could pop open real quick.
Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all, if we yeah, was going this slow, we might not have lost those animals to begin with. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, <laughs> I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash. How you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, <laughs> one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Yeah. <laughs> Whistle horse ox! Uh oh, did I do that too late? Well, the horse is out of range. Bruce says his ox in the middle or towards the end of chapter three. I just started chapter three. I've been doing side quests this entire stream. We just got to Dewberry Creek. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. <laughs> uh, I imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. Uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. You ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. Always whistle for your horse socks that slip not. Will, will do, lesson learned. I think I can get around it though, just by using my camp to fast travel the roads or something. And then my horse will appear next to me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Mr. Margaret! Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. <laughs> she licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cowboy in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. 
All right, we're finding a, a lion now. Me a gin. Be a deer and fix me a gin. Oh, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. Hey, well, look at that. If it isn't my dear friend. And you all were worried about me losing my horse. He's a good little horse. Never hurt nobody. I like this horse. I'm going to miss him when I upgrade. There you go. You malnourished beast of burden. How about a snack? Let's get you some more of those classic goat cakes. And what did I say? A can of beans every half hour? Well, Morgan's got to have his beans. Let's get some nutrition. Oh, man. Canned peaches. How about that? Got to fatten this kid up. Now, what's that? We got some doodads hanging on this tree. Oh. One of 20 dream catchers found. You have discovered dream catchers in the wild. Find all the dream catchers to reveal a secret within. I didn't know that. Does this second one count as a dream catcher or... I see. So this was just one dream catcher post. Yeah. You can keep up to four horses, Zox, says Elena. Hey, oh, that's good news. Well, maybe I should hit the stables. Oh, so that one's marked on my map. Great. Okay, so the next one, the lion, is up here in Emerald Ranch. And wait a minute. Is he trapped or something? We've got uh, a picture of two guys holding something inside a stable. Well... Let's head on up. I had my peaches. I gave the oat cakes to my horse. Feeling good. Let's go find a lion. The lion is right near the stable, says Von Reck. Good. I hope I don't have to, like, hassle anybody to get it. See, isn't this the most bizarre thing? I turned off SLI, and the game was flickering to Timbuktu and back. I turned on SLI, and look at this. We've had a few flickers every now and then, but it's been mostly clear. Oh, and I'm wanted in New Hanover. Easy now. Okay. Let's see. Search Emerald Ranch for the lion. No lion. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hmm. 
Well, great. Oh, this is annoying me. Knock, knock. Can I come in? It was locked. Probably no lion in there. Back door, maybe? Big barn, says Von Reck. Big barn. Oh, okay. I would have searched all over this place. Boys. Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. Oh, no! That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. I hope it's a dog. <laughs> Into the barn. Let me in, fellas. Oh, here we go. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Doesn't look like dog poop to me. Could have been from a horse. That's a big dog. Okay, how do I get up there? Well, hop on this. I'm working on it, game. I'm trying to figure out how to get up there. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this. Oh no! What? How did it get Oh! Great. He's dead. Find the lion. Oh God, help us! The, I, I saw it run for the stables. Oh, we got a trail of blood here. That's it, I don't even care. Okay, lion. Oh, it's a lion! Sweet mother Easy boy. Easy shit! on him <laughs> what Try this again. Eyes? Maybe? Blind it? Oh, missed that up. All right, let's try this again. Let's try for the eyes. If I can knock out both eyes. Shoot faster. I am mashing this left click button. Inform Margaret of the lion's fate. I got him. Can I take it with me? He shot 
the thing. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Take trophy. <laughs> Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Yeah. I mean, there's dead because of that. You've gathered an ingredient required to make the lion's paw trinket. I've Take this trinket to the fence before, and I to craft it. I don't again. Amen to that. Well, by gum. I lost my hat, didn't I? It's gone. Is it on the ground here somewhere? No, it's gone. Well, let's go get the trinket. I mean, we are here at the, at the fence after all. Where is he? Is it the wrong time of day? Ah, doggone it. The fence is gone. I want my trinket. Well, let's just go to the fence and roads and head back to Margaret now. Margaret won't be so happy, but then again, Margaret did just get a man killed. Smurf Boy says, you lost your hat, a small price to pay for salvation. Well, at least I got him in, in the end. <clears throat> There's a pig farm nearby. Easy. See map, go pay a visit for a nice hidden side quest. This one right here, Pithry Farm. Well, let me go turn in the, the side quest I'm on first. And we can talk about other side quests later. All right, let's see what Margaret has to say. I wonder if Arthur's gonna just shoot Margaret for uh, having a real lion. be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron. Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I a knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell. This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> I have just <laughs> the thing. And what a treasure it is. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. Mm. One man's labor is but a trifle compared mm. to this jewel's true value. Wait! Painted piece of obsidian is what, what that is. Say? Your daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. 
but we really must be getting along. Yeah, because yeah, you probably we'll gave me a so long. piece of painted so rock. Long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. I got bronze. Oh, it's an actual emerald. All right. No, I got gold. I finished it. Okay. We did it. And we got a good emerald out of it. What? Now. We could go to the stable to get a new horse. We could go to... Roads to see the fence, which is still open. The fence in Emerald Ranch is open now. Really? That's closest. We need to go to the fence to sell the emerald and to make my trinket. That incidentally is really close to the pig farm. I guess this is the pig farm where you said that I've got another quest. And I have just under an hour left. That's not enough time to start a story, a primary story quest. So let's continue with this and let's start a side quest, see how far we get. Aberdeen Pig Farm is near the area border. Oh, it's an Aberdeen Pig Farm? Oh, this is the Pig Farm, Aberdeen Pig Farm, not that, which is the Pithrigi Farm. Okay, so this is where I get the side quest. Sweet, let's go to the fence, cash in our valuables, then go to the Pig Farm. I also thought it was glass, says Tony J. An emerald for your troubles at the Emerald Ranch to be sold at the Emerald Ranch. Poetic Oxhorn, that's what I do. I'm, I'm just a big ball of poetry here. Everything I say, every movement. When I'm riding a horse, oh, that's poetry in motion. When I stumble, it's a form of poetry. It's just bad poetry. damn way. So we'll be passing right by the pig farm. Might be night by the time we get back. I wonder if there's a place to sleep at Emerald Ranch. Because the sun is setting now, as you can tell yeah. by the flickering. You gotta love that flickering. Ugh. Eight weeks now. I've been trying to fix this dog on flickering for eight weeks. Well, I don't know where he was earlier. Maybe it was uh, too early in the morning. Maybe this fence only operates at night. All right, buddy. Oh, you. Hello, Seamus. Mister. Let's sell. It's worth buying. I'll buy. I got an emerald for you. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. Sure. Now, I can make a trinket here, right? Let's craft... Got a little kick show in mind, huh? Lion's paw trinket. 20 bucks. I'll take it. Better than a rabbit foot. Permanently increases the player's stamina experience bonus by 10%. Cool. Can I make any other trinkets? Nope. Oh, these are all from animals. Alligator, bear, boar, bison, raven, beaver, buck, cougar... Coyote. Oh, could I have gotten something off of that cougar? I didn't see an option to pull its fangs out, the one we killed earlier. Coyote, elk, fox, see the lion, lake just up north of here. Did that one. Moose antler. Round the man in it once. Yeah, just kidding. I won't ask too many questions about its previous ownership. See you around. Cole says, so have you decided on what you're going to play? What you mean to replace Soma? I have not decided, but I'm leaning towards Alien uh, Isolation. Is that what it's called? I did see the trailers for that and looked good. Uh, no, there's no hotel here. Guess I'm going to have to make a camp. I mean, I suppose I could go to the pig farm at night and see what happens. Yeah. 
Alania says, nah, there's a legendary cougar later to kill. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, seeing as how much problems I had with the last cougar, this legendary cougar is, um, well, that's exciting, huh? <laughs> The legendary cougar is only available after finishing all of the hunting challenges, says Dark Dragon Dave. Oh my. A lot of work ahead of me. I have a feeling we'll be streaming this game for quite some time. Bruce Wayne says, yes, Ox, Alien Isolation is great. I'd love to see you stream it. Yeah, I've heard nothing but positive from uh, viewers in the chat uh, for today's stream and yesterday's stream, so I think that may be the one I'll tackle. See if I can get it working on my PC. It is an older game, but if I can, then uh, that's what we'll try to do. Light off the business. Okay there. Let's go to the homestead. Walk in all nice and friendly like. No guns drawn. Hey there! Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> He's too friendly. Well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while, and we got food on the stove <laughs> and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. Oh, no. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. Oh, do we accept? I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on, now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> well, you're not wearing a shirt, for one. Uh, okay. Hey. I'm getting Andale vibes hey, from this place. Is. Come on in. Come on. Dude, do you dress like this normally? Ew. I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Uh, okay. You want me, well, a stranger. Just hurry her up a little. She won't listen to me. He wants a stranger to go upstairs and check on his wife who's dressing. Okay. Would you just pop your head around the door? Or we won't be eating till Christmas. I'm really scared. Is this... Am I going to get demonetized for this? Do I want to find out what's on the other side of this door? You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> For food? Are we still talking about food? <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. I mean, I... He uh, just asked me to check on you, that's all. Oh, you don't need to make any excuses. No siree. Right, okay. <laughs> and there was me thinking you was the bashful type. Oh, I am. I'm very bashful. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Save. <laughs> Hard save. That's, uh, what's the last one we did? One... 24, yeah, New South. Let's save over this one. Hey there, shirtless fella. We still having dinner? She'll uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. That's it. Really That's excited about dinner. Make yourself at home. Well, hey! Hey! <laughs> Wait, this is just about perfect. God. 
One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. <laughs> oh, it's a short life, but a <laughs> That uncomfortable one. smile. Here are all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> The food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop <laughs> it, you! How do you like it? Mm, it's good. Different. Mm, mm. Mm. No Name says, ah, mm. it's mm -hmm. a meat cute. That meat is so tender. Mm, you know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was, when we was kids. Mm. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Our? Horrible. We still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. <laughs> Look at Arthur, he's like, there, what? There. That's for you. <laughs> yeah. Look at his face, he's like suddenly realizing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> there, my manners. Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. <laughs> Poor Arthur. <laughs> That reaction was just brilliant. <laughs> that stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I don't oh, no. that. Let's loosen you up some more. No, no. Can I say no to the booze? Come on, honey. Well, heck, we're here. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, just a gulp. Ah! What the hell is that? Oh, it's an old Aberdeen home recipe. That one right there's in 1894. Who am I to judge, right? Stabbing me in the head. Come on, I thought I had a man here, not a boy. <laughs> one more, and you and I both will go upstairs and have a lie down. <laughs> oh. oh, man, I really don't want it. Ah, what the hell? Oh, come on, Arthur. <laughs> not, they didn't even give me a choice. <laughs> oh, he's getting in such trouble uh. now. Uh, uh, oh, about time. And take whatever cash he has on it and put it behind Mama. Yeah. Ah, I knew that was coming. We'll get it back. Ooh. Rob. What the hell just happened? Put him behind Mama. <clears throat> From me? Yeah, take look at his walk. Now that is the walk of an angry man. You you ain't Easy breezy. Search the house. Ooh, I found a, 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 a an ingredient for the bear claw talisman. All right. <laughs> Bix Nude says hog tire and take her to the grave. <laughs> I gotta find my money first. This doggone people, incestuous people, drugged me and robbed me and left me for dead. What do they think? Look at that. We got an armoire over here. Six sons of bitches. Well, I hope I didn't miss out on anything by shooting him, but I was mad. Oh, 
Oxhorn, look behind the painting. Okay. Nothing in the chest. You mean that painting downstairs of the um, <clears throat> the the angry looking woman? I got all the time in the world. Can't carry more of this item. I wish you would tell me which item it was. Can I get that booze? Well, looks like we're drinking some Kentucky bourbon. What's that growing out of the painting? Are those antlers on it? And here I was just enjoying their hospitality, being a civil neighbor to them. That's what I was. I was a neighbor. They drugged me and they robbed me and they leave me for dead. Not finding much here. Shoot the plank on the floor. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can find a loose plank. Bitters. What's a bitters? I mean, I don't need it. My stamina is already fortified, so... I don't see any loose floorboards. Open the armoire again behind Mama. Okay. Ooh. The Aberdeen family, Christmas 1878. Look at that. They scribbled out Ma and Pa. It's just the brother and sister. <laughs> oh, creepy as all get out. Now, I'll open the armoire again, as you suggest, but uh, when I opened it last time, it automatically closed it. Look. See, he's automatically closing it. It's got to be the picture downstairs. <clears throat> That's the picture of Mama. They said they were going to put the loot behind Mama. So, that's where we find it. Hello. Got my money back. That's the side door. Leads back outside. Got a couple more cabinets here. <clears throat> Man, I'm not getting a lot from searching these cabinets. No canned food. You'd think I'd at least walk away with some canned food. Here we go, assorted biscuits. All right, we got one more room to explore here, and that's the living room. Lucid Sage says the floorboard is upstairs alongside the stair railing. It's a shade tad brighter than all of the others, and it's popping out a tad. Really? 
So we got a floorboard too? Sweet. I'll check it out. All right, let's check that floorboard, then I'll explore those doors. Okay, by the stairwell, it's a tad lighter. Ooh, I think I see it. Come on! I shot the floorboard! What is it? I want it! Come on! I see it in there! We got cubes of something! Oh, this is just not right! Leads outside. <laughs> Bedroom. <laughs> you can't actually get those items, says Dark Dragon Dave. Pyroman says it's cut content or an unsolved Easter egg. Ignore it. It's nothing. You can't pick it up. Oh, I see. Well, thanks for letting me know about it then, uh, chat. Perno says, shout out to all the haters in chat. Much love. All the haters in chat? Do we typically shout out to the haters? That goes back outside. Okay, that's it. Anything hanging in this bag? Nope. Those cubes are either a glitch or an Easter egg, says Brett Boss. It's been that way since the game came out for everyone. Also, check the shack around back. All right, will do. Ooh, wait, there's shelves up here. Can I open those? Nope. All right, out back we go. Shack out back, they say. Let's see. There we are. Couple of shacks. This must be the outhouse. Can't get in there. So we go to the other shack. Small carriage. Nothing in the back. Boxes. How do we get in here? Guess we can't get in that one. Unless that's a door? Is that a door? Oh. Alright, I think we got everything. There's a little pig sty here. For a pig farm, I'm not seeing a lot of pigs. Right. Well, uh, I'd say that was a net positive. We got a trinket 
for a new trinket. So let's go back to the fence and make that trinket. See exactly what it is we found. Yeah. Those were cannibals, says Anisi. Yeah, they definitely gave me an Andale vibe. But uh, then they didn't eat me. After drugging me and throwing me out for dead, they just robbed me. They didn't eat me, so I'm trying to figure out exactly <laughs> what kind of farm they were running there. Maybe they were just luring in uh, travelers with their hospitality. And that's how they made their business. All right, fence, Seamus. I got more to sell. <laughs> Actually, I've got one to craft. Ah, I recognize that face. Looking to get something put together, huh? Wait, didn't it say that I now had all the re all the Oh, I'm already, I'm already carrying one. I see. So it gave me an alert that I could make a trinket that I've already got. I just need a quartz chunk to make the bear claw talisman. Long time since I saw a lawman come out here. Wrong corner of the heartlands if you're looking for a badge. That's it. All right. Thank you. Okay, feller. Well, we got about 20 minutes left. That's not really enough time to do much of anything. Um, we could go to Albert here and see what he's got. Or we could go back to camp and clean our guns and all of that. Let's see if we can get to Albert. I think I can get there in 20 minutes. We'll at least save just before the, the mission starts. <clears throat> that will get all of the side missions done on our map that are close to us, which will allow us to progress with the primary plot in our next stream. Arthur is all gristle, lol. Set up a campfire and cook meat. Dulce and bag of boxes. All right, well, that reminds me. It's been about 30 minutes. Let's uh, feed our horse. It'll take more than that, boy. Here you go, boy. And let's feed ourselves. Where's those beans? Cheese wedge. Baked beans. He just throws the can on the ground. Arthur Morgan. I'm so ashamed. Yep. 
Go get your bowler hat, says Stanley. Yeah, but I don't want to have to pay money for it. I've got a hat. It's comfy. My character's wearing clothes. Money is useful for other things. I don't want to spend it on clothing. Deuteronomist says, eat several food items, even if it's not too much, or even if it's too much, or else you'll never gain that weight back, Ox. Someone help me! Eat. Whoa. Help! Help! I'm gonna die! You okay, mister? I'm coming, please don't die. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. Oh, this again. <laughs> I need medicine. Oh, 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 you need to uh, suck them in the mouth. Oh. I think this is the okay. second time I've, I've done this particular I random encounter. <laughs> Not a word to anyone. Dummy. I owe you one, mister. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Got that right. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. I, 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 out here. No more. Uh, all right, we sucked the venom out. Just away from snakes, all right? <clears throat> Hopefully my horse isn't all spooked because of that snake. I don't see a red dot on my map. Boy. Oh, there's the red dot. <laughs> I see it now. Well, we'll just uh, get on up out of here. This feels like the bayou. Gonna have to be careful not to run into any alligators. Nicholas Herstrom with a tip says, take my money. You, sir, are kind and generous. I will take some, uh, take it gladly. All right, now, what has our friend, the photographer, gotten himself into this time? So, uh, now. Yeah. Oh, he's going to get eaten by an alligator. I tell you that. I tell you what. <laughs> Good work, pal. Albert! They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. <laughs> Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... Wow, you Arthur, shooting he's... from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> This is very out of character for Arthur. He likes to avoid. The uh, survived. They're the nasty ones. Wildlife danger. All right then. <laughs> um. Oh, I saw a movement. Search in the for alligators in oh, the into swamp. The west. Oh, into the northwest there. That, that's probably where we should look. Okay. Let's go look then. Northwest we, we go. Line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. There's the one over to my right. Okay, so we got three spots here. Let's go to the left one. Mm 
There it is. Close, but not too close. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, the gators got some catching up to do then. Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Oh, okay. I see something right now! In the channel. You see its head? Yes. Poking up there. Line us up to it. Closer now. Closer. Get closer to the alligator! I'm close! Just zoom in with the camera. This is as close as I want to get. A little closer, please. Oh, come on, Albert! Aim us at him, and I'll get the shot. Can we get the angle right? Shut up. Oh, straight ahead. Over to the left. Right over there. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. All right, now. The other spots were northwest and northeast of here. Okay. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? Oh, look. On that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five foot head. I don't see it. There it is. Ooh. The it's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. We caught him in the middle of his dinner. This is history making. Now let's back up. Nature. Back up. In all its glory. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yes, and Albert. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Last spot was on the west of here. <laughs> this guy is only alive because of uh, uh, because of Arthur Morgan. He's saved his butt so many times. I wonder why he takes pity on this guy. He kind of has a fondness for him. Well, at least I do. All right. Let's get that last gator. There he is. I see him. He's on the shore. Run it over with the boat, says Danny. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah. Can you stop the boat just there, off the island? Oh. Sure. But we stop too long. Locals are going to start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might... It might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. But maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh. That's the spirit. Out you go, then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. Uh, don't like this. Not one bit. Oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just don't step on it, he says. He's more oh, concerned with the here, alligator. Gator. Over here, boy. Come on, you big dozy lizard. Rouse yourself. Got some juicy fat humans for you to eat. <laughs> He's not going for it. Come on, you stupid. Well, he's oh. awake. No, 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 no. Back to the boat. Put that away. We're conservationists, not killers. Maybe you are. Stop him. What a specimen. <sighs> this isn't a hunting trip. Please put it down. Fine. You got the picture? Is that it? Are we done here? I'm on the boat. 
We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. All right, well, he's got his photography shots. All thanks to the kindness of Mr. Morgan. Now let's row him back to safety and we'll be on our way. Hopefully more eight gators don't show up to eat my horse. I left my horse right here in gator territory hitched to the ground. Hope he's okay. Poisoned arrows get perfect alligator pelts as well, says Shalas Kazar Gear. That's a good tip. Thank you. Ah, yes. Doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. <laughs> Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. Off you go, many Albert. I've an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. And there we go. Watch your time, Ox, says Wolf Dragon Tamer. Thank you. Thank you. I got an eye on the time. Got a few minutes left. Maybe enough to get back to camp. Wow, I came all the way out here. Think we can ride back? I mean, I know it's faster to fast travel, but tell you what, let's ride back to camp, see what trouble we can get into along the way. Then we'll end the broadcast having completed and achieved a lot. Mission done. Then, next week, Friday, we'll pick up right here, and we've got three primary plot quests to do. Dutch is in the sheriff's office, and we've got a couple other guys. Pearson wants our attention. And then there was one more, if I recall the map correctly. You went in the broadcast box a lot, says Kevin. Great watching you. I'm desperate for a Wii. Hasta luego. Well, thank you for sharing. Um, I always love learning more about my viewers. But yes, I will be ending the broadcast soon. We got a four-hour hard stop here on YouTube. Otherwise, uh, YouTube has a hard time processing the replay. So uh, we'll uh, mosey on over to the camp. Make sure Arthur is back in camp. We can feed him and get some ammo and ammunition. And then we'll head on out. So for the weekend, I've got two lore videos. Bar Harbor lore videos. Hold Just Chris 13 a with a tip. Uh-oh. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Round here, strangers got to cough up people. Get down from there. You hear me? I'm done being kind. He wins! Son of a bitch! <laughs> you twitchy for a dip. Oh, why is what is with the scope?
All right, I'm gonna take that scope off my rifle because I'm having a really hard, a real hard time with it. Dead eye and aiming with the scope is the exact same button. It's the mouse wheel. I know I'm leaving all that loot behind, but you know what? I don't want to get caught by passers-by who happen to witness that, and suddenly I've got a town after me or a bounty. Actually, ladies and gents, that's my hard stop. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to let you go now. New lore videos for the weekend and live streams on Monday, Thursday, and Friday again. Thank you very much. See you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.